Assalamu alaikum friends. Today we will be starting Akhlaq wal Adab level 4. So let's get started. Lesson number 1 Conduct. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Surely from among the most noble of you are those best in character. Honor and greatness do not lie in knowledge, wealth, or beauty. Allah Ta'ala does not judge people by their color or their family name, but their conduct. A person with good character is obedient, kind, honest, humble, and generous. The fear of Allah Ta'ala and good character are the two most important qualities that will enter people to Jannah. Number one, we do not swear or say hurtful things to people. Number two, we do not backbite or find fault with other people. Number three, we do not call people bad nicknames. Number four, we do not steal or take things without asking. Number five, we do not show off or praise ourselves. Number six, we do not laugh at or insult people. Number seven, we hide the faults of our fa friends and family. Number eight, we serve our parents and neighbors. Number nine, we are generous and helpful to the poor and needy. Number ten, good conduct creates place and love among people. Lesson number one. For the love of Allah. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu and Sayyidatina Fatima radiallahu anha had two sons, Hassan and Hussein radiallahu anhuma. One day, the two boys became very ill. Their parents were quite upset. They made a promise to Allah that if their sons got well, they would fast for three days. Allah answered their prayer. Soon, both the boys were well. The grateful parents began their fast. On the first day, the parents broke their fast with water. They performed salat and sat down to eat their meal of a few pieces of barley bread. They were about to eat when they heard the voice of an old man calling out, For the love of Allah, give me food. Save my family from dying from hunger. Sayyidatina Fatima radiallahu anha said to her husband, how can we eat when these people are hungry? Her husband agreed with her. All the bread was given to the old man. That night, Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu and Sayyidatina Fatima radiallahu anha went to bed hungry. The next day, both fasted again. After sunset, they sat down to eat a few pieces of bread when they heard someone cry, For the love of Allah, give us some food. At the door were two orphan children, Sayyidatina Fatima radiallahu anha felt sorry for the children. She said to Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu, It is surely that will, the will of Allah and His Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we should help the poor. Let the little ones have our meal. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu agreed. So for the second night, they went to bed without food. The week the next day, they fasted, although they felt very weak. After sunset, on the third day, they prayed and ate, ate their simple meal. When Rasulullah wasallam heard of that incident, he was filled with joy and pleased with his daughter. Indeed, Allah was also pleased with this act of kindness. Jazakallah, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Follow the Sunnah, follow the Sunnah, inshallah we will go to Jannah.